This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Productive week. That's what I'm wearing. Just wanted to feel something today. That really did not work out in my favor. Y2K. Wash. Hailey Bieber glazed donut nails. Oh! Good morning. We're all friends here, makeup free, kind of tarry day today, and I've chosen to pick up the camera because I feel like it's the theme of my week and it's starting kind of now, but I'm just getting a little bit more on top of my life. Honestly, the only thing that I would like to do today is just prep for next week. Been at home for two weeks now and it's been fine. I've been getting stuff done, but I'm still waking up some days, not feeling like I'm getting the most out of my day. Waking up a bit aimless. I'm definitely someone that works better with like a bit of a to-do list, a bit of a flame under my arse. So I'm gonna create that flame. Ultimately, I just wanna have a productive week. I have my my big girl, this is my big girl notebook. Um, Estee's Mirror Water Earth Journal. I think she has these 30% off the moment I've seen on Instagram. This is my like, this one always makes me feel like a businesswoman. Another thing I wanna do, which sounds like really menial, but I wanna style outfits. Like I wanna dress nice this week. I've been feeling really inspired to try some new kind of trends. I don't know, like I'm not super big on a trends gal, but there is like, I'm really feeling the Y2K stuff at the moment and I've got some nice pieces that I wanna style. Styling them top to bottom, it's gonna make my week so much easier next week. So anyway, it's gonna be like obviously a bit of a weekly highlights this week as opposed to a daily vlog. So the outfits, things like that, the progression that we make across the board, you, you're, you're gonna see. Actually in general, I wanna make the apartment a bit nicer this week. Like I've come back with new energy and I just instantly was like, okay, I need to build on this space a little bit. I don't know, just switch some things up that haven't changed for a while, maybe add some more color. I get cracking with just some house stuff that I need to do, some chores. Uh, while I listen to Nicholas Ashbaugh on his Libra tower reading for the month, he's honestly the most wholesome tower reader. I listen to him every single month. Um, if you're looking for someone really positive, tarot wise to listen to, I really recommend Nicholas Ashbaugh. I love him. <laughs> By the way, I recently just made my Pinterest outfit inspo and also a cheeky little interiors one so you can get inside my mind. Feel free to follow, I update it almost daily. Okay, so this uh, cushion cover, it's like a beautiful sage green, like minty sage green cushion, which um, my boyfriend got delivered to my place because like the Amazon and like Etsy delivery situation in Canada, like there's all of these import fees and it's just kind of complicated. So I said I'd bring it on the plane with me, but I kind of want to keep it for my, my own bed. I think I'm going to have to get one of these lumbar pillows. The Etsy, the case is from Etsy and the insert is from Amazon, but I think it goes so pretty with the, with the pink. Um, I've just done my hair and makeup. All that's left to do is Fix this. I was kind of sketched trying something right before you leave. That really did not work out in my favor. Be right back. Thankfully, I think we've salvaged that. Actually shooting with Christy today. I've been doing my bits this morning, but it is nice to have a bit of time to get ready. It's probably all gonna melt off. I'm heading into the city for a little event. Christy's gonna come with me and we're also just gonna shoot some pictures because that's something we talked about. I think this is what we're gonna go with. Just something really a little bit Y2K. I've got these platform Steve Madden fitted skirt from that new local thrift store called Other People's Clothes in Bushwick. Really, really old weekday belt that I've had for ages. And um, vintage Max Mara tank that I got off thread up. Old weekday bag, and then these um, weekday sunglasses, which are super fun. And I've actually been dying to style all summer, but I left them here while I was away. Yeah, I'm kind of leaning into the silver vibe. It's not uh, something I do often, but I'm kind of feeling it at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's just like the skirt. Like I just don't wear skirts this 
short, like it's definitely a mini skirt. I do feel like a little self-conscious, but I'm just gonna give a big to um, any insecurities I have. Because you know what? I look cute and I'm gonna wear it. And look, I'll probably get catcalled, um, but I'm gonna let that stop me. <laughs> Um, we are out here doing the most for for Instagram pages. We're just walking up now to find a little spot, but we were in ground support. What's the coffee verdict? Pretty good. Um, I find New York coffee isn't that like strong usually, but this one is... Yeah, we have a bone to pick. It's very milky a lot of the time, but that's a good latte color. Any lighter than that and I'd be upset. And it's like a nice flavor too. I think you ended up getting a nice cap. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Good um, recommendation. But yeah, we're gonna try and hold it together, get some nice photos, and see where the day takes us. Manifesting something if you were not you wouldn't have an experiential physical reality correct correct so the idea is you do not have to learn how to manifest this is automatic it is built into you as a creator as an aspect of creation what you are simply learning is how to manifest more consciously to be more aware of how you manifest so that you can manifest what you prefer instead of manifesting your unconscious beliefs i said i wanted to set myself up for a good week finally gotten around to um doing my to-do list i've just done a personal list a work list and then i've just started um filling out the actual monday to friday schedule um i'm gonna make it very realistic but i do think all of these things are possible it seems like a pretty long list on both ends more on the personal side but um there's always power in writing things down we tasks separated to personal and work on one side uh and then kind of allocated each task to a day I'm doing lately is trying to stack some good habits with positive reinforcement so i was watching that um bashar documentary on the gaia platform you know has some good content for the wonderful and the wacky um i'm a very open-minded person and bashar is like david anka bashar has been an interesting character so i actually sat down and watched a bit more of his backstory it's not for me to say if he actually channels or not but any time I've heard him speak or do his like little public channeling sessions, like he always has like such good nuggets of positive information. I just think positive information is positive information. If it has a positive effect on you, does it even matter? I feel like I've been trying to do that this week. Interesting or an interesting or setting up an interesting environment that feels kind of rewarding at the same time. I can never find two hours to read, but I brought the book to La Cantine and I sat there for like two, two and a half hours and got halfway through that um, woman code books. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. The day is here. I've been doing a few workouts. Oh my God, my voice is so gone. I am booked in for a 10 a.m. class with Kat at session. I'm like a hardcore session class pass goer um kind of pre-pandemic and kind of during the pandemic a bit but i've been training at home a little bit just to get my body warmed up in honor of today i'm wearing a set that i've held on to for months because i meant to go back working out months ago it's from bow and tea a lot of irish girls talk about this brand and they had some really nice styles kind of this stretchy seamless style like there's no seam at all but i don't know guys i don't know if it's a bit of me but it seems to be flattering enough on and not like look weird i don't know i think i'm too old for seamless Ooh, i'm quite glowy i'm quite well lit um i'm rushing out the door just a simple simple outfit mainly i just wanted to style this skirt i absolutely love it to have pockets my new balance honestly would have been perfect with this outfit but they were a little big so i had to go back and exchange them so i'm waiting 
cargo skirt. It's so, so cute. I told you in the last vlog, we're working on the summer bottoms so that I'm not just in linen shorts. You know, like this was such a great buy. And I got to support a local business from Shop Pesh. You may remember, she's like an independent Korean boutique owner and she goes to Korea and sources all of these like really, really cool pieces. Gorgeous John Hardy like chunky necklace. All of my bracelets that I always wear are John Hardy's. Brunch with my manager, Hannah. I'm so excited to see her. My manager for work is an Aussie and she's the best. I haven't seen her in like a year. I really wanna pick her up a bunch of flowers though. There's nothing in New York is like open early. Like the earliest things are open is 10 a.m. And all of the florists are open at 12. So there's one florist. My mother told me never show up empty handed. <laughs> and sign some contracts. So that is kind of what is on the agenda today. I'm stopping to recommend them because the girls were so helpful in there. They put this beautiful, well, like the bouquet was already sort of semi-ready. Thank God they had some grab and goes, but then they like fluffed it up. We added some extra flowers and they were just so helpful. Like in and out, 10, 15 minutes, love to see it. Um, smells so good. <laughs> good morning. I am. Um, I'm having trouble even just starting the vlog today. Like the the words aren't there, babes. At least two hours of park time today. I've been putting in the hours, and it's kind of like a midweek. Thursday bump. So I have the bikini on and this is not like an outfit of the day but I thought in contrast to some of the more styled outfits I'm showing you I would show you like what I actually wear on the day-to-day -day when I'm just going around my neighborhood and not really doing much. I've also been liking just tying these buttons like a little bit asymmetrically so you get a bit of a I don't know a bit more shape in the shirt. I know revolutionary. An old men's graphic tee. If you want something similar, the ASOS men's section. Usually do these. Yeah, I'm gonna try and strip off and kind of get some like proper vitamin D for at least an hour with my Factor 50 on. This is how we'll be rolling. I've got the bigger Lover Sunday tote. Well, it's not like bigger, it's more like wider as opposed to narrower. Really love that like angle grinding for me. And I've also packed my limited edition Lover Sunday corner extra big oversized towel because I've been using it as um, a park blanket that's kind of how I always envisioned it like beach days park days just like a limited edition thing for like the hardcore Lover Sunday fans out there and yeah just kind of start my day at the park before getting into it because it's supposed to thunderstorm in a while might read the book might listen to music honestly might just sit there in silence because I've woken up today, like usually I have a plan, like I'll kind of like multitask. If I'm going to the park, I'll also do work. Like I'll reply to comments, do community stuff, DMs, reply to emails, um, edit on my phone, something like that. But today, zero thoughts up here. I There's a lot of thoughts going around lately and um, for me, I would like zero thoughts. I think you can see there. It's coming in quick, but it's fine because your girl got her uh, hour and a half of a little bakey bake in the sun. <laughs> Had to tan my back because <laughs> my front is so much more tan. Or maybe I'll just stay out and have a Drew Barrymore moment. If you can get out in the rain. Oh no, you didn't. I feel drops. I didn't blow dry my bangs for nothing. to do it to him. Being that I am in fact a person that needs to schedule a little lunch, you're next. Yes, we did get caught in the rain, but I honestly love a good thunderstorm and there's nothing better when you're not that far away from home and you've got nowhere to be. You don't really like have to look nice. Drew Barrymore meme aside, um, it is a very cleansing thing. Like being in the rain is the same as going to stick your feet in the grass. It's very grounding. Mm, Mother Earth, transmute this energy. Take away what doesn't serve me. Excuse the neon nipple on my top, it's paint. Uh, this is where we're at, hair thrown up, rain hair thrown up uh, in a kind of a, I just caught, caught in the rain 
renaissance type of way. I have ended what I need to edit and I thought I would kind of get cracking on this last painting. I had a bit of a disaster with it the other day, which I will talk to you guys about when I show you. I'm gonna take one or two layers of like background wash before I can actually start. So I figured I'd just get a start on it and then go back to editing and kind of come back and forth. Really light wash of blue with some texture and then a really light kind of wash of pink on top. Hmm, cute thumbnail maybe? While this is drying, perfect time to remind you about my lovely sponsors, Squarespace. Most of you already know or have heard of Squarespace already, but if you haven't or you just need a reminder, maybe it's just the right time. You've been thinking of starting your own website, no matter what kind it is, but you don't know where to start, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to do so. I think Squarespace are great because they take all of the complicated hard work coding out of building a website so that you can do it at home. You just pick your domain name, your URL name, and then your website template, which is kind of like your guideline for how your website will look. And you just input all of your own data, your photos, basically build your online presence. Honestly, it's hard to mess up on Squarespace. They just include all of those little details that make your website look professional and responsive so that people visiting have an enjoyable time. See, I love hosting my online shop with them. Their support team is amazing. So if you just need a slice of the internet, an e-commerce platform, a blog, an e-portfolio, Squarespace has you covered. You do not need to take my word for it. Try it for yourself, tinker around. You can have a two week free trial to play with it at squarespace.com slash Tarmer. And if you decide to push your website live, you can get 10% off your future billing with code Tarmer. Okay, layer number two. Okay, this might work. We're gonna be okay. Okay, this is kind of what we've ended up with. Uh, I still love that one way more. I feel like the colors are more punchy. However, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'll put in a clip so you can kind of see them upright and side by side where I plan to put them. If not, I'm just gonna roll with the one. I was thinking about why I kind of liked this piece so much or the neon coming through. And it's because it reminds me of an Eric Minter piece. He's definitely a contemporary artist to check out. Not comparing at all, there is no comparison, but there's like a quality of like the colors or something that reminds me of his work. Needless to say, if I had a million quid, I'd be hanging up one of his pieces on the wall right now and not looking at this hot mess. shooting today, which means I'm new facing. It's not a necessity, it's not a need. The dam doesn't snatch your face. Hello, bear with me and the air conditioning unit. It is so hot. I'm filming outfit reels. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a second. Um, and I did one makeup reel. It was just kind of like a content shooting day. No, I'm feeling cute. And I just figured why not just show you my outfit because I'm actually, Going to go outside now. I've been at this for quite a number of hours, but uh, as part of my schedule today, I also want to like try and self shoot some things outside. It's always like really fun time when your neighbors are passing you posing on the street with a tripod. Girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. It probably sounds like a trivial way to spend my day, but when you do this full time, like it's just as important to put effort into making organic like non-sponsored content as it is making sponsored content and i love it like i love outfits and it's just part of what i do this is one of the outfits sunglasses were gifted to me by ray and the jewelry necklace as always this old paloma wool top that i've had for like two years old and other stories bag old zara dad trousers i'm sure you'll still find something similar and then just like my painfully white Air Force Ones. Not gonna lie, been a bit weak for the blue, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. And yeah, if you wanna see the other five looks that I shot, obviously some of them will be in this vlog, but the rest of them will be in a cute little reel.
our spent done. I am absolutely starving. Really, I'm craving salmon. I want my dinner so bad. But I have to wait for my Amazon order to come. There was only like late slots. Barely anything snack appropriate in my house until I have my dinner. But I have landed on this really, really good hummus. Finally, my local shop stocks a hummus that doesn't have oil in it. But this one's really good. And uh, they vacuum pack it so it lasts ages. And it literally only has chickpeas, tahini, apple cider vinegar, garlic. Like no weird stuff. I'm going to try and polish off the hummus with these very salty tortilla chips. I, I don't know if it's summer, but just on days like this when I put in the hours, I am not gonna lie, the Irish is hopping out of me. I'm gasping for a drink. It's not even my fault when my boyfriend texts me and he was just like, oh, the weather's so nice here. We'd be definitely going to like a terrace and like having a drink right now. <sighs> and then from that moment on, I just wanted to drink. I know, judge me if you will. Remembered, I've been saving this soju, have I even told you, like soju is my new passion. I would describe it as like a Korean vodka. 13% in this bottle. If you're in uh, Bushwick, there's um, a Korean restaurant called Bulbak Grill and they have a whole fridge of different flavors and you can just take them to go. My idea is that I might model some blackberry and lemon at the bottom of this, maybe add some tonic and then like do half soju. And it's been such a nice evening. I think I'll catch a really good sunset, so. Mm, delicious. Cheers, internet friends. Top life tip, never stop taking yourself on little dates. Finally, it's dinner time. This is what we're working with. Carrots and onions we made earlier, sprouts, butterhead lettuce, nice soy, cucumbers drenched in soy sauce. Never had kind of um, salmon like this with a bit of a, a flour coating on it. I just shallow fried it, but I just was kind of curious because I remember months ago me and my boyfriend having this conversation that i was just like hmm, fish and chips I had like fish and chips with salmon though like battered salmon like i know it probably exists in places where like tempura is very popular like asia i've never seen salmon uh on the menu like deep fried a little bite mm! oh my god be on something here guys i've decided that it would taste very good with some japanese mayo on the side final touch is some seaweed there's dinner it's not wearing any makeup but outfit of the day we're back and um, honestly just wanted to feel something today and i'm actually more so trying this on for later because i'm up and going out i feel like summer there's always like fun outdoor um, parties. Not the full look, but I kind of just wanted to give you a flavor of what I'm thinking. Love the brown on brown crochet from um, a designer maker on Etsy. I'll leave her down below because honestly, her pieces are exactly like the photos. Just such a fun textural layer. It's giving Britney Spears slave for you meets earthy euphoria forest fairy bikini top is from yolanda swim really like the fit of those swimsuits and i got my urban outfitter cargos that i showed you from the last vlog i think i'm pretty happy with that outfit for later so meanwhile i've just changed back into my comfies because i was gonna cook and include some recipe ideas that i've been enjoying lately in this video but honestly i'm now not in the mood for those things and i'm not in the mood to film them so maybe in the next vlog i'll definitely include some cute summer recipe ideas one of the things i had on like the personal part of my to-do list was to do my nails because i cannot go around like this any longer these haven't even been on for two weeks it's nothing to do with the nail tech i recommend it it's just i got the technique done on my natural nails and they're just too flexible and all the layers just started cracking off. So we're gonna do the thing, soak these off, and then I think we're gonna try Hailey Bieber glazed donut nails, because I have all of the things, I ordered what I needed, and we're gonna give it a shot, because it's much like what I would normally get. It's taken me probably an hour, maybe a little bit more, to get all of that off, soak it off, shape my nails, clean them up. I will say, one of the best things I ever invested in, because I'm actually all right at doing my own nails, is getting like all of the bits, like all of the paraphernalia that the nail lady has. Like you can get really cheap kits on Amazon. I don't know if they're a green brand or not, but they're this French 
brand called Manicurist gel system kit some of you may know that i am a recovering like two week manicure girl like r.i.p fresh spa if i get a good gel manicure at a hole in the wall spot like it honestly can last four weeks on my nails i wouldn't say these last four weeks but the finish is very similar and i can probably get like nine to ten really good nail days with it and i just prefer the flexibility of um changing up the colors it comes off way easier it comes off much more like regular nail polish she's gonna do a little giveaway because they sent me some of their summer colors recently and they sent me the whole kit again i'll put some colors in there the top coat the base coat um and let's just i don't know do like a us europe canada giveaway just throw your details in the comments this is a lot to ask but please put either your at handle for instagram or your email address in the comment because Every winner of a giveaway I've done recently has been uncontactable. The color that I'm gonna use for the Hailey Bieber nails from this brand is called Hortensia. It's just like a baby sheer pink, kind of a chrome white powder. So I didn't get the OPI one because it's sold out everywhere or else it's really expensive. So I got this dupe on Amazon. I found one seller and it looks exactly the same. These things give me the heebie-jeebies. Like they transport me right back to being a teenager, lashing on the same green L'Oreal holographic <laughs> eyeshadow every day of second year while i'm doing this i'm looking at my toes because they really need to be done i've been done over a month ago and it's reminding me of that time i was greatly humbled by my boyfriend you know when you pick a color and it's amazing in the bottle and it's just what you want and then she does one toenail and you're like yeah fine and then she does like more toes and progressively you begin to like regret your life that's kind of what happened here i'm gonna give you too much free toes also blister alert but yeah this blue <laughs> God, they're so grown out. I already resigned myself to not liking my toes that much, but I was like, whatever. Got in and I was like, ah. And he was like, ah. It looks so good. And I was like, yeah, I got my toes done too. He looked down, he literally looked at me and said, that's not a color you'd usually pick. I know, babes, I know. That's how you know you got a real one. It's not a meanness, but it's also not like a fake niceness. I'm gonna be putting on one of Jenny's vlogs because I can kind of watch and feel like someone's chatting with me. He's just such a comfort Irish vlogger for me at the moment. Guys, I, genuinely, if you have any suggestions for YouTubers, I might like, because a lot of you know me at this point. I just find it so hard to find new youtubers to watch i find that every six months i'll go on a bit of a subscribe binge and then every time i click into the person's vlog i'm just so underwhelmed with the content it'll be like two minutes of really whatever vlog footage then an ad for seven minutes and then like three minutes of vlog footage and then it's kind of over i don't mean it in like a taste way like someone can watch my videos and not vibe with me and that's fine there's plenty of people that i follow that I feel like I don't have a lot in common with. There'll be something about their videos that I'll, that keeps me coming back, you know, that kind of is their own personal hook. Struggle to find anyone that I can connect to or find relatable, obviously relatable is a subjective term, but you know, if you know, you know. So please, 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 if there's anyone you love, small YouTuber, big YouTuber, let me know. With that in mind, if you're a fan of your girl and you want her to thrive, I'd appreciate you sharing this vlog with a friend who you think that might like it because that is the only way to grow. Send me their way because I want to connect and reach more of you guys. Oh, so sound, you know? I ended up doing three coats because I wanted that very like layered milky look. Okay, moment of truth i haven't watched like an actual tutorial but i feel like i've gathered what i need to do so apparently you just kind of okay maybe go for it see what happens Ooh. okay hopefully it doesn't all rub off because that would be okay i think it's sticking i think it's sticking obviously i'll be washing off the excess oh that's so pretty i would never do a glitter nail personally so i feel like this is like the a bit more of a subtle version. I feel like I was a nail tech in a different life. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Like, is this not the most satisfying thing on earth right now? On has set and we're still here. Your girl has glazed donut nails nicer than the last couple of times I've gone to get my nails done. Oh! 
oh, weak. They came out so good. It's like that right amount of like pretty and tacky. I feel like I usually end the vlog in bed with a bit of a nighttime regime, but the sun is set and I feel like we're almost there already. I don't think I have any more updates anyway for you guys. Other than that, the mouth taping has been going very well. I did an Instagram update and I would say within three days, it fixed my TMJ. I genuinely can't believe trying something as simple as mouth taping has just released all of this jaw clenching, teeth grinding, tension that I used to just be holding. The mouth taping topic, this has been on my list for so long. It's called Breath by James Nestor. I know for a fact this has gotten an insane amount of recommendations. And when I mentioned that I had it in my cart, you guys went crazy in my DMs. So if you're interested in In Breath, journalist James Nestor travels to the world to discover the hidden science behind ancient breathing practices, discovering that if we make the slight adjustment to the way we inhale and exhale, we can jumpstart athletic performance, rejuvenate internal organs, halt snoring, allergies, asthma, and autoimmune disease, and straighten scoliotic, sc sc scoliotic spines. None of this should be possible, and yet it is. Feeling there'll be quite a lot of science in this one, which I'm excited about. I'm filming this vlog a little earlier than the end of the week, but the schedule front guys i don't believe in toxic productivity but if it's been something you want to do i hope you got on well i love a cross out highlighter moment vlog is going to be kind of meaty because i filmed a lot this week and i'm kind of excited to put it out i'm always a bit afraid to put a vlog out over 20 minutes like it gives me anxiety you have a beautiful up and coming glazed donutty week and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye